Hello my crochet friend, welcome back to another video. This is Bruna Ticaliti. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet the easiest bag ever. So you have everything ready for you. The only thing you have to crochet is the body of the bag. What a dream, right? So let's talk about that. So here's everything that I'm going to be using in today's video. So first the main thing, this is a click clack type of bag so we have the top of the bag as you can see so we have the metal the opening of the bag and also the handle and it's going to be kind of like a clutch bag i think this is how these type of bags handbags are called anyways so we have the top of the bag already done for you and then we have the bottom of the bag. So this is the color that I've decided to use. And you can see how it looks. So we have the bottom, the top, we just have to make the body of the bag. How incredible that is. If you wanna check these out, I'm going to be leaving all the links in the description. So feel free to check it out for everything that I'm going to be using. And then to add to this bag, because I do love handbags, but I'm not really a fan of carrying all the time like this around my arm. I do like to have it sometimes around my shoulders. So I wanted to add a strap, but I didn't want to make the strap. So I found this little chain that works perfectly because also is the same color as the metal part because we have silver, so it matches that. But also it has a little hook on both ends. So it can be removable and you can use four different bags as well, not only this one. So the idea is for me to attach this little hook here on top of this little ring that we have at the top of the click clack um, handle. So that's what I'm going to be doing, attaching on both sides and then we have the strap completed and it's going to look super cute. So I'm going to be attaching this once the bag is completed. And then now for the tools, I'm going to be using a tape measure. I always have one in hand with me. And then you will need two hook sizes, one for the yarn. So I'm using here a four millimeters crochet hook for my yarn. And then you need another hook. This one is a 3.5, so it's a little bit smaller. That goes through the little holes of the bottom of the bag. So these are the two that I'm going to be using. And then always you need a small pair of scissors. And then the yarn I'm going to be using. I am going to be using three different shades. So this beautiful orange cream and this colorful one in which is basically these two shades in this cone. How incredible is that? This is the Thai Sublime by Teslan.com. And this one is the Fumato range of the Thai Sublime because it has two different colors in one strand. So this is the yarn that I'm going to be using in today's video. It's incredible. It's a corded type of yarn and it's perfect for bags. If you go to Teslan's website, you'll see they have a section on the website that is only for bags. So you have everything that you need in that section of the website. So these are all the materials and now I think we should start with the tutorial. So first I'm going to be using the bottom of the bag and then I'm going to be grabbing the very first shade. So I am thinking of using the grid stitch or I, I don't know if it's called the grid stitch or the mini checkered pattern stitch. It's one of these two. I've tried to look everywhere and these are the two names that I found for this particular stitch. So it will be little squares around the body of the bag using these three shades here. So now the question is which one should we do the very first round? I am thinking of doing this Fumato one because it goes more with the bottom of the bag. So maybe let's do this one as the first round. And then I'm going to be using the 3.5 millimeters hook for this very first round in which is gonna go around the little holes of the bottom of the bag. So leave a nice tail for the weave-in. I leave about 15 centimeters or so. And then work your slip knot. And now we can begin. So choose any of the little holes to begin with. I'm going to be doing this one. Go through that hole. The yarn is gonna be going around as you can see. And then first we are going to yarn over and pull through that hole. And you wanna make sure that you move really nice and high. So it's leveled with 
the edge of the bottom of the bag and now we are going to yarn over and pull through both loops just like so so creating single crochets and we are going to be having to do three single crochets in each of these little holes so go into that same space the same hole that you did the very first one you're going to pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two and then into the same one again, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through. So we have three single crochets in one hole and now move into the next one, insert into the next one, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through and then do that two more times into that same hole. So you have three single crochets into the same little space. So you can see we are going to be having three single crochets into the same hole. And repeat that all the way around. So next one, work three single crochets into that. And this is how it's going to look and then repeat all the way around the same steps and then I'll be back when I'm here at the end. So I'm here into the last space. So I'm going to be working three single crochets into this one as well. So as you can see, I have finished the three single crochets into each of the little holes around the bottom of the bag and I have here 38 little holes around. So in total, I'm going to be having 114 single crochets around and you want to make sure that you have a multiple of six for the stitch that we are going to be using. Now I'm going to be changing my hook from 3.5 to four millimeters and we are going to be doing one round all the way around with single crochets just so that we can have the base ready and also that we have a nice transition from the bottom of the bag to the body of the bag. So you're going to find the very first stitch, the very first single crochet, and you're going to slip stitch the two sides together. So now you're going to chain one, and then you're gonna go into the back loop only, so you're not going to be using the front loops for this round. So back loop only, and single crochet. If you want, you can add a stitch marker here. I'm not going to because I already know that this is the first stitch, but you can. So now going to the next one, back loop only. So we have the front loop and back loop. So get just the back loop and single crochet. Next one, back loop only, single crochet and then repeat the same all the way around and you will see that it's going to start to fold and that's completely normal. That's the effect that we want. So I got here at the end and I have to do two stitches. So this one is 113 and now 114. So go ahead and slip stitch into that very first single crochet. And now we are going to be starting with the pattern for the bag. So from now on, we are going to be using the entire stitch. The back loop only was only for the second round. So now for the third round, I'm still going to be using the same color. So I'm going to be chaining two, and this is going to count as the very first stitch. And now work one double crochet into the next two stitches. So we have three stitches here at the beginning. So now chain three. So one, two, three. We are going to be skipping three. So one, two, three, and then work one double crochet into the next three stitches. So now chain three. And then you can begin the repeat again. The repeat, it's simply skipping three stitches and then working 
one double crochet into the next three and then chaining three. So skip three and then working one double crochet into the next three stitches. And now chain three. And now you can just repeat the same all the way around. So I'm going to continue round three and then I'm going to meet you right at the end. And what I'm going to be doing is actually not cutting off this yarn. I will leave it here so that we can take this yarn with us going up so that we don't have a lot of weavings to do at the end because I'm going to change color for every row going up. We have the three double crochets, so we still have to finish it off to go to the chain two at the beginning. So go ahead and get the next shade you are using. I am using cream. So first we are going to be chaining three. And now we are going to be dropping the current yarn. Leave it there. And then going to the chain two. Now you're going to be leaving a nice tail for the weave-in. You can leave it pretty long. I'm going to be leaving the size of the bottom of the bag, as you can see, just so you know roughly the size. And then I'm going to be finishing this slip stitch with the new collar. So just go through the chain two plus that little loop of the chain three that we've created. So what you can do now here, just so that we kind of lock this yarn in place so that it's not going to be moving it around, I'm going to be making a knot with the previous yarn and the end of this new yarn that we just attached in place. Really, really nice and tight. I'm going to be making a triple knot. And then I'm just going to leave the end here. And then the previous yarn, we are just going to be dropping it and leaving it as is because we are going to be using it later on. So now we are going to be using the yarn that we've just attached in place. Just so you can see, I always work like this, at least at the beginning. Once we have more rounds, we are going to be working then sideways like so. So for now, I just turn my work like this. So for round four, start with a chain of three. And this chain is going to be right on top of the three double crochets here. So we are going to be skipping all the double crochets and the chain three as well. And we are going to be working the next three double crochets into that second round. So the ones that we have skipped, the stitches that we have skipped, these are the ones that we are going to be working with now. So wrap the yarn around the hook, skip the next three double crochets and the chain three, go right into that round number two that we did, that we have skipped the three stitches, go into that very first one that you can find, and then you go into yarn over and pull through that stitch, and then you wanna move really nice and high, leveled with the double crochets like so. Now you go into yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two, creating your double crochet. So now you have to double crochet into the next two stitches, two rows down. So double crochet into the following stitch, and then double crochet into the third stitch. So now the pattern repeat, it's simply chaining three, skipping the three double crochets in the chain three of the previous round. We are going to be working two rows down and then you're gonna go into the second round, finding that very first stitch that we have skipped and then double crochet into that. Double crochet into the next one two rows down and double crochet into the last stitch that we have skipped. You can see that the double crochets will be going around the chain three and now you can repeat again what we did previously. So this is 
round four. So all you have to do is to repeat the same steps all the way around. So here at the end, I'm going to chain three. And then I have the three last double crochets that I have to do into this space. So that's what I'm going to do. So go down two rows and work the three double crochets that we have to do into the three stitches that we have skipped two rows down. And now we are going to be doing exactly the same as we did when we did the transitioning of this fumato yarn to cream. So go into, but then it's going to be different because we have the chain here. So go into that very first chain, you're going to be dropping now the cream and you're going to do this slip stitch with the new color. I'm going to be using the orange, this one. So leave a nice tail for the weave in and then I'm going to slip stitch with the new color. And now here at the back, on the reverse, I'm going to be doing a knot with the new collar end and with the previous collar. Exactly the same way that we did the first changing of collar. So I'm going to be making a triple knot here. I'm going to be dropping the previous collar and now I'm going to continue with the new collar. So now the beginning of this next round is going to be a little bit different. This is round number five now. So I'm going to be starting with a chain of one and then I'm going to go down two rows. This time is going to be row three that we are going to be working with into the stitches that we have skipped of the double crochets. So go into that very first one that you can find. We have here the chain two. So go into that, so we are going to be skipping the chain three of the previous row and go down to row three. Go into that very first stitch you can find and then work a double crochet. The chain one is not going to count as a stitch. So when you come back, we are going to slip stitch into this double crochet stitch. And now double crochet into the next two stitches into those double crochets. So we did the second one and now do the third one. So now from here, you are simply going to repeat the same steps as the previous round. So chain three, you're going to be skipping the double crochet stitches. You're going to be skipping the chain three, and then we are going to be working into the double crochet stitches two rows down. So go into the very first stitch you can find of row three, as you can see, and then work your first double crochet and then next stitch, work your next double crochet and then following stitch, work your last double crochet. So now repeat again all the way around. So chain three, you're going to be skipping the double crochets the chain three and then go two rows down into the three stitches that we have skipped, go into that very first one, double crochet, next one, double crochet, and then last one and double crochet. And you'll see the more rows you add is going to kind of stay folded like so to create the body of the bag. So I'm going to now continue this next round and then I will be back once I'm right at the end. And now this is how it looks like. So we have two, chain three, then I'm going to drop the orange and then I'm going to find the next color that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go back to the first one. So bring the first one. You can leave all the others at the back and then go into the very first double crochet stitch and then you're going to finish this slip stitch that we are going to be doing with the following shade you want to use. Make sure that the orange is really nice and tight and then finish the slip stitch. 
when you change back into orange you will be able to tighten it again but for now it's going to kind of be loose at the back so make sure that the new color is nice and tight and now we can begin again you can see that we are going to be having the yarn exactly the same way that we did when we've transitioned from the first color to the second you can see right here right on top of the three double crochets so you're going to be chaining three and then from here you can just follow the pattern so one double crochet two rows down into the three double crochets here that we have skipped so do the first one the second one into the next stitch and then the third one so I'm going to continue now round number six and then I'll meet you at the end so that I can show you just one more time how to transition from one shade to the other. So now to move from the first color to the second, we are going to be using the cream. So make sure that you get the cream. You're going to drop the current yarn, make sure that it's nice and tight. And then you're going to go into that chain. You can see. The chain three go into the very first chain you're going to be doing the slip stitch with the next color like so make sure that the previous color is nice and tight and now you can carry on your work with the new color so this one is going to be just like the second time that we made the transition so we are going to be starting with the chain one so two rows down into this double crochet the double crochet that you did the slip stitch that's the one you're gonna get and then you're going to do your first double crochet going to the next stitch your second double crochet and then the third one do your third double crochet and now from here you can just continue the pattern so now you know how to transition how to start and finish each round that we are doing with the different transitionings so it's basically just two transitions that we are doing that both of them will be starting differently but you already know how to do it you can always go back and watch it again if you want to and this is how it's already looking so cute yeah so i'm going to continue now creating my rounds i'm not sure how many i'm gonna do but once i have all of them completed i will be back and then we can move on into the next step so I'm now done with the length of my bag. This is the sizing that I want. I've done in total 27 rounds from the beginning and look how beautiful it is. I love this stitch so, so much. It looks so good. I'm so happy. So I'm going to be adding a lining with this fabric here because it looks so good. Look at that. It matches the bag perfectly. This is a 100% cotton fabric. So we are going to be doing that before we attach the handle, the top of the bag in place. So now you're going to be cutting off the two yarns that it's basically the other two colors, just leaving the one right at the top so that we can do the finishing at the top of the bag so that we can carry on. I'm so excited. So I'm going to be leaving a nice uh, tail for the weave in. I leave about 15 centimeters or so. We can weave in this in a minute. So for the last round, I just have to finish here round 27. So I'm going to chain three and then I'm going to slip stitch to that very first double crochet. And then with the same color, I'm going to do the finishing at the top. So for the finishing, I am doing half double crochets into the double crochet stitches of the previous row. And then I'm going to still do the double crochets two rows down exactly the same as the pattern that we've been doing throughout the body of the bag so i'm going to be starting with a chain of one not counting as a stitch and then into the same stitch where we've done this lip stitch i'm going to be doing a half double crochet so this is going to be the first stitch of the round and now i'm going to half double crochet into the next two stitches and now we got into the chain three. So go two rows down and then work your double crochets into the double crochet stitches two rows down following the pattern as before. 
And now we got to the double crochet stitches. So half double crochet into the next three stitches, just like so. And now we got to the chain three. So go two rows down into the double crochet stitches and work, oopsie, <laughs> and work your three double crochets here. So this is the finishing at the top that I'm going to be doing. So now just repeat the same all the way around. So at the end, you will have the three last stitches just underneath the chain. So into those, we are going to be working one double crochet into those last three stitches. Just like so. And now we are going to slip stitch with the same color into that very first half double crochet. So now we are going to be doing the lining of the bag, but first we have to do all the weave ins that we have here inside the bag. So all you have to do is to go through a couple of stitches. You want to make sure that you match the color. So here I have the orange end. So I'm going to be doing into the three stitches of the orange. So go through those stitches and then you're going to be skipping one little loop at the beginning and then go back into those same stitches like so. And then do that one more time. So skip the very first loop and then go back into those same stitches. And now the weave in is done. So you can go ahead and cut off the end and then repeat the same to all of the others inside the bag. So the weave in is done. So now we are going to be doing the lining. So we have to cut all the pieces for the lining. So I'm going to be cutting the bottom first. So I'm going to get the corner here of the fabric. I'm also going to be using my new tracing tool that I got in my advent calendar. And all I'm going to do, and also I have my zigzag scissors here as well. So I'm simply going to just trace around the bottom of the bag. So once you've done the tracing, we can now cut it around, but make sure that you leave a little bit of a seam allowance around maybe half centimeter or one centimeter. So now I'm going to be folding my fabric. And then I'm going to be using here the folded of the fabric for one of the sides. And you can also place the bottom that you've just cut here underneath so that you know exactly the sizing that you have to cut on the side here. Because this has already the seam allowance, I'm going to be cutting it exactly from here we have the bottom. So I'm going to be cutting from here all the way up. Just going to be tracing it all the way up like so. And then here at the bottom, I'm going to be cutting exactly to the bottom of the bag. So just following this line. So now I'm just going to be cutting this rectangle that we just traced. So first I'm going to be sewing these two parts together. You can see that it's a super long rectangle. So I'm just going to be putting the sides together and I'm going to be sewing here close. And then we are going to be sewing the bottom later. And now all we have to do is just sew the bottom to one of the sides. I'm going to be doing this one. So just put it together. I'm going to be pinning it all the way around. And then I'm going to be taking it to my sewing machine and then sewing this around as well. This is actually the best lining. I ever created. So now all we have to do is to put this inside our bag, make sure that the bottom matches the bottom of the bag. So let's just place it inside like so. And now we can sew this all the way around. And I'm going to try to sew this in my sewing machine. Let's see if that's going to work. So first I'm going to be pinning all the way around. Oh, 
Also when pinning the lining around, the lining is not stretchy and the crochet it's super stretchy. So you want to kind of move both of them around and kind of match nicely like this, pinning both together. So now I'm gonna go to my sewing machine and I'm going to be sewing this together and I'm going to be using a zigzag stitching, stitching the lining with the crochet. Let's see and let's hope it's going to work. <laughs> The sewing of the lining and the crochet actually works. I cannot even believe and look how good that is. I'm so happy. I got also the perfect matching thread. So you don't really see the sewing at the top. So yeah, lining done. You can also add a little pocket inside if you want those little slip pockets. I didn't do it because I do like using my bag like this anyways. So what I'm going to be doing now, it's attaching the top of the bag. So you have your set just like so. So you're going to be opening it and you want to open it right on top of your bag like so. And then you're just going to be inserting the bag inside the metal like this. And now you can just choose any sewing needle. I'm going to be using this one. And I'm going to be threading this thread, this is the one I'm using, into this needle. And I'm going to be using a double thread on my needle like so. At the end, I'm going to be cutting it to match both ends. And I'm going to be making a knot here at the end with both ends. And then we have to kind of choose exactly where you want this to go. And also you can see that the piece at the top is really nice and straight with the bottom of the bag. So you want to make sure that you have that really nicely and kind of even across because otherwise it will be kind of crooked and you don't want that. So make sure that it's really, really nice and straight going around. So now let's begin with the sewing. I was thinking maybe we can try to clip it around. Oh, we can. Okay, so I'm going to be using these little clips to clip it around just so that it's not going to be moving around. So first I want to kind of insert the crochet, the edge here inside the little space that we have in the metal into this little piece. So just insert and sew it in place. We're going to have to do this little by little and then I'm going to be going through here the inside and then choosing one little hole here at the front. So just go through that and then you want to go back into the following little hole just grabbing a little bit of the inside of the bag as you can see. A little bit of the crochet and the fabric just like so. So now insert a little bit more inside the metal and then go through here at the inside and then choose another the following sewing hole here at the front sew that nice and tight and now go back going into the next hole making sure that you get the crochet and the fabric and then sew that all together and then just repeat that all the way around and that's what I'm gonna do. You have to do this quite slowly and with a lot of patience. So I just have to finish this section of the sewing and you can see all the rest how it looks like. So it's pretty nice. And what I did here, I had to fasten off because I have to start from the beginning again so that the sewing looks nice. Otherwise we we're gonna have like a single sewing here loose. So I wanna keep um, the stitches really nice and straight all the way down because you can see how it ended up on this side. 
so this is how he ended on this side so it's going to be the same to this other side because I want to have the stitches all nicely like this otherwise I'm going to have a single one here and then I have to go back through the bottom so I'm going to start from here again and then work my way to the end so I'm going to just show you a time lapse of me doing this section but it's the same thing the same steps as I did the beginning So I'm gonna go through the last one, as you can see. And then here, all you have to do, if you finished exactly like me, just choose one stitch of the crochet going backwards again to the reverse of the bag. And now here we can fasten off. So to fasten off, I'm just going to be choosing one little stitch of the crochet here go through that twice so we did one now the second time just to lock the yarn in place and now do a third time but then leaving a little loop at the end then you're gonna go through the loop and then pull nice and tight to fasten off and you can do that just one more time just to secure this yarn this yarn <laughs> this thread in place and now you can just cut off the thread and the sewing is done <gasps> we are done attaching this in place i was actually going to finish this video tomorrow morning but i just couldn't hold myself i really want to show you right now because i'm so excited i cannot stop smiling this bag is just so stunning are you seeing this this could easily be sold as a designer bag. I'm not bragging about it, but come on, look at it. Look at the bottom, the bottom, the finishing of the bottom is so good. Look when it opens. I cannot believe that I actually did this bag. No way that I actually did this, this is so good. I'm speechless. I'm I, I'm what? <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm so excited about this. So now the last thing that I have to do is to add the strap. I really want to add this one because it adds the extra oomph <laughs> to the bag. Kind of more designer forward, I would say, if I say so myself. <laughs> and also I do like to carry my bag around my shoulder as well but you can actually keep it like this because it looks incredible so let me add the strap and let's see how it looks hopefully it's going to be easy to add because it's just a little hook ah oh, that was so easy all right and now we have a strap I have to try this with you guys. This looks so good, so legit. Let's go. Don't mind the outfit. Look at this. First, let's try as a handbag. How do I look with my PJs and my new crochet bag? Bye-bye. I'm going shopping now. This looks so good. So let's try around the shoulder now. I think I'm going to probably put the handle backwards so that it's easier to open the bag, like so. How does it look? Let me know, oh my goodness. Oh, like this. <laughs> my microphone is like, I wanna be in frame with you. <laughs> let's do a test drive. Open it. My phone fits perfectly inside, so happy with that. 
then if I need to use my phone, I can just grab it. Oh my God, I love this bag. <laughs> so I have you guys like this, but I have my mirror in front of me. So I'm gonna try in front of the mirror because I really wanna see how it looks as well. Yes, it looks good, it looks amazing. Oh my goodness, this is just like a designer bag or even better because it's handmade and I did it. See around my shoulder. Ah, it looks so cute. And you can also double the chain going around the rings and then you can have it to go around the shoulder like this because it looks so cute. So that's another option because look at that. It looks so pretty. So yeah, this is how you crochet this incredible bag. I really hope you have enjoyed. Let me know in the comments if you did enjoy and if you are going to be making one. Also remember that I'm going to be leaving all the materials that I have used to crochet this bag in the description. So feel free to check it out because it's incredible. I'm pretty sure you guys will want to crochet one as well because it's so cute. So I have this little kit by Paint Gem. So I'm just gonna be putting inside here, just so you can see the sizing of this bag. It's not gonna close, but just so you have an idea of the size. It actually has a lot of room inside. I'm pretty happy. So you can carry your favorite book or even a smaller crochet project that you are doing inside this bag. And if you end up making one, don't forget to tag me on Instagram so that I can see your take and the colors you have chosen. Or if you're going to be using a different stitch, you can definitely do that as well. But I think this one is so nice. I think this is the stitch for this particular bag because it looks so nice. And it's also colorful as well. It's not like one color. So it looks pretty nice. So don't forget to tag me so that I can see your take on this bag. I love it. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm gonna go now because otherwise the level of excitement of this person here is gonna go to a thousand because it's like 100 now. So this is how we crochet this incredible bag. I really hope you have enjoyed and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.